Recently, I seen this photo of Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman holding an award. This award being for breaking the world record for the most views on a trailer in 24 hours. And you might have noticed it already, but on that award, there's a Wolverine and Deadpool Funko Pop. So that got me kind of thinking, what Funko Pop world records are there? So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to different Funko Pop world records. And all right, here we are. I'm at my computer. We're going to react to some videos. Videos of Funko Pop world records, of course. And the first world record that we're going to be taking a look at is the largest Funko Pop collection. Now on YouTube, there is two different videos for the Funko Pop world record for the largest collection. There's one with a guy named David and there's one with a guy named Paul. Paul's video came out in 2020 and David's came out in 2021. Meaning that Paul had the world record at one point, but David broke it. But since then, Paul did reclaim the world record and I believe he has around 8,000 pops now. I have 400 and that's a lot. I can't even imagine what 8,000 looks like. But yeah, Paul took the record back. He he claimed it in 2023 so we're gonna react to his video and if I'm gonna be honest this video came out almost four years ago I've never actually watched it I've seen his collection obviously he's a very well-known collector in the community I've seen plenty of photos of his collection but I've never actually seen the Guinness World Record video so let's react to it together got to get my headset on so I can hear what he's saying let's start and see let's see what this is all about oh Dragon Ball Z got lots of that. Okay, lots of Marvel. I'm, sh I'm sure he's got a, a lot of everything, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. He's, he's got he's 8,000 pops. You've, you've got to have a lot of everything, you know? It's, he's going to have everything. Welcome to my madness. I'm liking it so far, though. Dang! We're gonna Dang! Dang! One thing I've got to say is I, I've got to respect the fact that he has all of these out of the box. I'm not sure if he keeps the boxes or if he throws them out, but either way, you've got to respect the setup here. This is a really cool setup for all these pops. Having them all out of boxes, awesome. Those are his first two pops, and th the movie came out in like 2015, 2016. When did, when did Captain America Civil War come out? Let me see. When did Civil War come out? Let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah, obviously the American Civil War, 1861. That's not I, Captain America. Let me let me just 2016. So these pops came out 2016, 2017. So he's he was only collecting for like four years or three years when this video came out. Wow, and he has that many pops. This guy, this guy's gotta love it. This guy's gotta love it. I love it. I think this is sick. Marvels is great. Marvels is great. He's got a whole section of Deadpool there. That's awesome. Right here is a recent line that has come out from Marvel called First Appearances. That's still so crazy that he's saying recently came out because this was like, what, five, six years ago now? Five years ago, I think. That's that's crazy. But yeah, First Appearances are awesome. Love those pops. All right, I don't know if he's going to go through every single shelf here. It's a 20-minute video, and I don't want this video to be that long. So I'm going to kind of skim through the video and see if there's anything cool, and I'll stop if I see something cool. All right, so now we're switching it from Marvel to DC. I like this. Oh, we got all the colored Batman there. That's awesome. That Zebra Batman and Bullseye Batman, I think I have those. I think I do. I don't know if I still have them. I'm going to have sold them. Ooh, okay, television section. I'm seeing some Walking Dead here, some older ones too, especially. Those are worth a lot. I'm surprised he has that. That Walter White in hazmat suit is worth a crazy amount of money. That's awesome that he has that out of the box. Right at the bottom there, see a lot of Sesame Street. And also in the background, I'm noticing it now, he does have some pops in box, so maybe it's just like a matter of like which pops he thinks looks better in box versus out of box because everyone has their own preferences. Whoa, okay, he's got a lot of Freddy Funkos there. That's that's pretty cool. A lot of these were released around the time that uh, this video was made, so 2019, 2018. Like, I'm seeing a lot of the uh, 12 Days of Fun or whatever they do for Christmas there. That's pretty awesome. And also, I do believe those, those Fun Days ones were from that year as well. It's all NFL, and then you just see a single Teen Titans Go Funko Pop in the middle there, reverse backwards. I'm assuming he's using that as a placeholder. I just thought it was funny. Whoa, whoa, go back there, go back. I've seen a lot of Despicable Me Minions. Woo! Mainly, it's uh, Minions and Shrek. Don't forget Shrek. They go together like yin and yang, kind of. So it's all good. Minions and Shrek, it's respectable. He's got all the ad icons in their boxes there. Tony the Tiger, both of them. Yummy Mummy, Fruit Brute, Bullseye, the original one, Trix Rabbit. These are all the original like ad icons, Fungal Pops here. Well, besides the um, General Mills ones. That's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, actually. All the bas basketball. Basketball, love that. Oh, he's got the original ones. Dwight Howard, Ronchon Rondo, Chris Paul. That Anthony Davis one is funny. They really emphasized his eyebrow there. That's pretty sick though. He's got a lot of the older NBA Funko Pops, which is awesome. Some of these are worth quite a bit of money. And that's the end of the video. Honestly, my biggest takeaway from this video is that this guy is awesome. I know he probably gets a lot of flack online. I get a lot of flack and hate online for having a 400 Funko Pop collection. I can only imagine how much hate he gets for having an 8,000 Funko Pop collection, but he seems happy. He seems like he loves what he does and that's awesome. And honestly, 
it's really respectable that he knows this much about so many different franchises and he loves pop culture this much. I mean, I struggle with, like I said, with like even remembering the names of certain characters from shows and whatnot. But this guy seems like he really knows this stuff and that's just awesome. I love that so much. This next world record is a pretty cool one that not too many people know about. I think this has been talked about a few times in the fungal community. When it happened, it was a huge thing. Everyone talked about it. The title of this video is Funko Breaks the Guinness World Record for the World's Largest Mosaic. As to if they currently have this record, if it got beaten throughout the years, I have no idea. I'm just going to react to this video though because I think it's pretty cool and I want to share with you guys. So for reference, Funko Pop artists use about 8,600 pop vinyl figures to create the largest packaged product mosaic in the world. And the image you will see in the video of all the pops put together is going to be of a mascot, I believe. I, I'm not sure how to say his name, but I'll put it up on the screen. I don't want to mispronounce it. And this mascot is very popular in Dubai and that's, I believe, where they did this. So let's go take a look at the video. It's a minute long. Let's see how they did it. This is just crazy. 9,000 pops. That's wow. Batman, Apex Legends, lots of Batman. This is awesome. No one talks about this. This is crazy. It's a lot of pops. You can see the mascot there in the back. And look at that. Look at that. That's 9,000 pops! That is insane, man. That is a crazy amount of pops, and that's just awesome that they were able to make this image using all those pops. That's crazy. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. As to if they currently have that, like I said, I have no idea. The first thing here says it's still Funko. Uh, since then, there hasn't been anything new, so I, I think Funko still has the record. Look at this image, man. Though This image is insane. This image is just crazy. Now, this next one is an official video from Funko. It's not quite a world record, but it is still, like, a, a record, I guess. It's the largest Funko Pop. Uh, a lot of people might think it's one of the 18-inch Funko Pops or one of, like, the 10-inch Funko Pops. You're wrong. It's actually a Funko Pop that Funko created for the events that they go to. So, yeah, San Diego Comic-Con 2022 Funkoville, they had a huge Funko Pop which I'll show you right now. Actually, let me skip to that part in the video because the rest of the video is kind of random. But yeah, right here, just look at that. Look at that thing. Look how tall it is. It's the big doll from Squid Game. This is when Squid Game was very popular. So they had like a Squid Game part of the booth, which is pretty cool. Or this might have been even at the Netflix booth. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is seriously tall. I have no idea exactly how tall this is. If I had to guess, maybe like 18 feet, 19, 20 feet. I have no idea. This is, it's tall though. You can see it relative to the person working at Funko here. They're, they're about, what, half the size of that? Would that fit in here? Uh, probably not. Not even not even sideways, it wouldn't even fit. That thing is huge. And recently at Fun Days, Funko handed out awards to some of the people in the crowd. One of which was the social media award, which was given to Tristan. Or you guys might know him as Top Pops. And I was lucky enough to get the social media award for this year. So take a look at this, everybody. And he is currently the largest Funko Pop collector in the world. So you know what? Let's actually go watch a Top Pops video. Let me find one. All right. booth. And I think Chad found something over here. Yeah, I found something really interesting. We got um, Rye the Pop Guy. Yeah, that's enough for me. That's that's enough. That's 